hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um i hope everyone has and still is enjoying their christmas holiday um merry christmas to everyone um, for those of you that are joining for the first time i'm Shar. this is not a critic just a customer where i just simply do reviews for those of you that are returning thank you for coming back welcome welcome come on back in um, well, for today's video review, of course, everyone is doing their reviews on their Christmas gifts, so I thought I'd hop in and do the same. Um, I've had a fantastic Christmas. Um, this has been so amazing. This whole year has been uh, to, uh, a very challenging one, so to get to Christmas and... Um, still be here and still be alive is really a great thing well so so much for that but anyways you guys today i am going to be doing a review um well i'm not gonna even do, it's not a review i'm just gonna take a look at some of the things that i got for christmas um so uh, yeah let's get started so of course um there were a few things that i wanted for christmas um and i love fragrances so definitely one had to be a fragrance um, and then I was also shopping for some nice eyewear and um, I'll show you that in a little bit but anyways I went out shopping for fragrance and of course uh, this season I wanted to go with uh, the Chanel line of fragrance and I happened to be walking um, through I think it was Dillard's and um, you know, they were, of course, you know, it was Christmas sampling perfumes just like crazy. But anyways, I got this whiff of this wonderful smelling perfume and I asked the person what they were wearing and they told me that it was the um, Coco Chanel's Coco Noir. So, and this is it. Again, Chanel's Coco Noir, a very nice fragrance. Um, it is a a sensual mature fragrance so for you know the mature woman it smells very nice um, it's very sensual just as I said and um, the packaging is what I really loved about it most um, I love that black and gold packaging that was um, very um, attractive so that was one of the reasons that it also caught my eye um, but anyways and um, this is the 3.4 fluid ounces and um, yeah I think it was maybe like 140 or something like that something like that 140 whatever I believe but um yeah but look at this the bottling everyone look at this bottle I love that bottle look at that that is just absolutely gorgeous it is and I do have the Coco Mademoiselle and that's very nice too as well so but yeah I love this black bottle with the gold trimming and also um, with the um, Chanel logo at the top center of the band there very nice this fragrance smells so nice guys it does come in different sizes i just decided to go with this size because i really liked it i already have on some but i'm going to spray on some more and you guys i still have on my pjs because you know it's the day after christmas of course and got out yesterday went over to the families and had an absolute blast y'all when i tell you we had a blast we had a blast like when we get together it's always a great time there's of course there's just food galore um more food than you could probably ever try to eat but there was all sorts of um deep fried turkey there was roast there was ham there was mac and cheese there was of course the greens you know we always got to have us a good old huge pot of greens um there was the sweet potato yams there was a yams casserole there was a green beans um there was just um so 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 much food 
And of course, you know, when you have food, you gotta have the drinks as well. So of course the libations were flying around and um, that made the fun entertainment and games um, part just hilarious it was so hilarious guys but anyways but back to the cologne um again yeah let me just spray a little bit on and for me i don't know about you guys like but for me mm, that does smell very very nice for me i like to apply especially if i'm gonna wear my 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 um perfume on my shoulders and yeah and in the uh, decollete area um, I like to maybe put on some, maybe like a Vaseline first, just a, a light, just a light layer of Vaseline and it just makes it hold that much longer. But mm, this, oh, that smells so great, you guys. And I wasn't thinking because this was kind of like a blind buy for me. Like I said, I smelled and I was like, I don't know if it's going to smell the same on me as it did at the other person. And I should have gotten the um, body lotion as well because this smells absolutely wonderful. Mm, yeah. Um, but again, guys, if you're just joining my channel, my name is Shar. This is not a critic, just a customer. Normally, I just do reviews on different products, different items. But today, I'm just going over my little, my little what I got for Christmas type thing. So, and these are just a few of the items again. So, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to click the like. It's share and subscribe okay subscribe subscribe to uh, my channel I really would appreciate it um, but yeah this is very very nice it smells um, wonderful let me see if I can pull up the actual notes in the um, yeah let me see if I can pull up the notes in the um, perfume so just a moment um, mm. Yes, that smells so good. So, 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 so good. So wonderful. But yeah, it does come in different sizes, like I was saying as well. Um, several different sizes. Um, this was the particular one that I wanted to go with. But anyways, here we go. So it says... Really quick. Coco Noir celebrates the par this paradox. And um, incarnates the iconic shade by using a deep black to bring the dazzling femininity to light. It says intimate, seductive, and it is seductive. Ooh. In intimate, seductive, and intensely brilliant. Coco Noir is a contemporary expression of magnetic sensu sensuality told in a modern ambery fragrance. And it's Mm, yeah, it smells so good. But anyways, uh, the composition says, as a prelude of vibrant, sophisticated bursts dominated by bergamot sparks of curiosity, generous heart gradually reveals the sensuality of May Rose and the remarkable note of granium rose leaf. This luminous floral, floral facet creates striking presence while a trail of Venezuelan tonka bean and Indonesian patchouli notes add intrigue. Y'all, they are not lying because when I smelled this, I was very intrigued. So much so, so much so that I hunt down the person that had it on and ask them, hey, what are you wearing and where can I get some? <laughs> yeah, but um, Yes, a very, very nice fragrance. It is, like I said, for the more mature woman. Um, so beautiful fragrance. It would make a great gift at any time. Um, I would say this fragrance you probably would want to wear more so dur during the um, uh, the fall and the winter time, um, especially with all the snow that we have outside. Um, I just closed the shutters on my, the blinds on my window but um yeah it snowed this morning again too you guys our lights were out on um friday um we were without utilities for almost 10 hours on friday so luckily we do have a fireplace and um that helped out but it still got very cold i got a little nervous too but yeah and we survived we made it through and eventually um the lights came back on so 
Woo, thumbs up to the utility guys that got out there and made everything happen. We really appreciate you guys. You don't get enough love, but hey, I'm gonna shout you guys out. Thank you, Mr. Electrical Utility Guy Worker. We, uh, guy, girl, whoever. We really appreciate you. But yeah, this, um, again, the Coco Noir. Lovely fragrance. Love it. And I'm glad that I did purchase it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just, I'm happy with my purchase. So, yeah, I mean, if it's something you may be considering, you can also go by the um, perfume counters and ask for samples. You know, I know it's the holidays and stuff, and people don't like to give out a lot of samples, and you just got to be creative with your approach. You know, be creative with your approach. You know, tell them, you know, that you're looking for a nice fragrance, and tell them you, you know, are watching YouTube, or you've been, you know following this fragrance person and they advise you to try this that and the other you know you just gotta finagle with them you know finesse you know use your inter sales uh purse your inter sales representative type um personality to bring it out but yeah um a lot of them you know some of them are kind of like stricklers no we can only give one or we can only give two or only if you purchase whatever you gotta negotiate you know what I'm saying? Sell yourself. You know what I'm saying? Get what you want. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. But anyways. But anyways. Um, while I was there. Um, and of course it comes in. I showed you guys just this nice box or whatever. Um, and they were so kind and so lovely to put it in this little black sheer string bag. And um, yeah. So that was my purchase. I thought it was kind of cute in the theme of like Christmas and also um because that really quick I had gone by the counter and um I was talking to um the um salesperson at the counter and she was explaining to me and telling me how lovely of a note that it was and that actually a person she had made up a few of these and a person was waiting to come back and get theirs and I was like well it must be pretty good then if you know you know people are coming back to purchase or whatever and I happened to be standing there when the person came back to purchase theirs but guess what it was a younger woman it was a much younger woman and I was like okay hmm. so maybe this fragrance is not just for the mature but yeah she was quite young so um yeah but she made her purchase and this is what she purchased now also um, of course, you may, you'll may you have some of the salespeople who are, you know, very, very helpful and love what they do and they're not being a Scrooge, not being sticklers. How about she gave me several different little uh, sample colognes and she just kind of dropped those in there. So she gave me the Prada. And you guys have to excuse my voice. Um, I, you know, I work, I work from homes at home and I speak a lot on the phone so my voice is just a little bit tired and it gets a little little stress when I am stressed it gets heavy so of course it's heavy right now I don't smoke not a heavy drink or anything like that it's just that um I just have a really deep voice um the other sample that she gave me was the Coco Mademoiselle which I have quite a few samples of this already and these guys if they offer you samples take them because you know why? They make great for great gifts. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing with these. Then she gave me the C, and I'm gonna keep this one though, because I size C, I think it's C. But um, yeah, I wanna try this one for myself, Giorgio Armani. So I'm gonna be keeping this one. This one's not gonna be gifted to anybody. Then she gave me, of course, the Flower Bomb by, uh, who is that, Victor? Victor and Rolf? Victor and Wolf, Flower Bomb, she gave me that as well. Yeah, she was very, very helpful. Because what had happened was, um, I told the salesperson to, you know, make mine up and I walked away from the counter. I said, okay, when I finish shopping, I'll come back and I'll purchase it. After I finished shopping, I came back, but they had already sold my little baggy. So, in the um, sales, second salesperson, she was very apologetic and, um, she said, well, let me, can I get you this? Can I get you that? Can I get, and she was just throwing me all kind of samples. And I was like, yeah, okay, thank you. Sure. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So it worked out well for me. But um, also sample of the black opium. 
um, I heard this was pretty nice too as well. So I think I'm going to try this one. I don't think I'm going to gift this one. Um, if I gift it, it will be to my nieces. And they're a bit younger than I am. And I don't think they would appreciate this as much um, as, I, as a, a more mature person would. I'll say that. Not that they wouldn't appreciate it, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? Right. Okay. And the next thing she gave me again was another sample of the sea. And this must be, the first one must have been the in, intense. See, um, Edu Parfum, Giorgio Armani. So, yeah, she gave me that one as well. And she gave me a, an oldie but goodie, all-time favorite. Number five by Chanel. Number five by Chanel, Edu Parfum. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one too. I don't think I'm going to get this one because I don't have this one. And, um... I listen to a lot of other uh, YouTubers, and I do have my particular faves, my go-tos for my um, perfumes. Um, Sheree's Life, I love Sheree's Life. She is my go-to for perfumes. So, um, and I think she did a review on the um, Chanel Number no. Five, if I'm not mistaken. If if not, then I do apologize. But yeah, Sheree's Life is is like one of my Go, my absolute go-to for anytime I want a perfume, a cologne, whatever. Um, I'm always watching her videos. So, yeah, that's my go-to. Alrighty. And, yeah, so this is what I got, you know, as far as the perfumes. This was the collection that I got. And I love it. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm happy with my purchase. And I'm definitely happy with all the samples that um that they gave me i could just you, perfumes guys colognes men's cologne i love it like i even love wearing men's cologne i really do i like wearing men's colognes um take my glasses off nope put them back on but anyways i like wearing men's cologne um just because i love the way a man smells so if if it's a nice smelling men's cologne and I love it, guess what? I'm gonna buy it. And guess what? I will wear it myself. Yes, I will. So, but yeah. Anyways, guys. So this was the um, the uh, Christmas um, perfume that I purchased. So yay! And again, it came in this nice little Chanel packaging and all that great stuff. So yeah, that was that that right there and put this guy right there oops my bad <laughs> okay so guys the other thing that I purchased and um I love a good pair of sunnies guys I love a good pair of eye I love beautiful eyewear I love well well crafted eyewear um I love unique looking eyewear and for me I like things that are just unique they don't have to be the bomb they ain't gotta be you know perfect all the time and doesn't always have to be expensive this that and the other but I just love a good pair of eyewear and um, I got a nice pair of um, eyewear that I purchased that I'm going to share with you guys And um, I really, I really love this. I really love this um, this frame that I have. It's very nice. Jeez, why did I lose the page, guys? Here I am. I was trying to be all prepared for you guys. Mm, let's see. But anyway, so, uh, I hate that, man. How did I do that, Sharp. But, okay. Well, we're just, I hate to do this, but we're just going to wing it. Okay. But I want to be specific with you guys. I want to make sure I give you guys the correct information how do I wait a second 
Hold on just a second, you guys. Let me see if I can pull this back up again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But anyways, jeez. I should have just left it where it was at. Should have left it on the page that it was on instead of changing it. I just had to change it. But anyways, guys, anyway, so here we are. Take a look at these beauties. And again, I purchased this, okay, for my little birthday present. Look at those guys. Jeez, Char. Okay, I dropped them. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyways, this is going to be the tortoiseshell framed eyewear by... Gucci. I when I saw this eyewear, I went in and I was walking around in the um, the CA. She was. I always go to this particular location, and the CA. And actually, I got you guys. I got these from Dillard's. I got these from Dillard's. But actually, um, the CA. Um, she's familiar with me. I went in. I was looking around, and she's always trying to get me to purchase more and more. I wear and I'm like, I already have dark. I've got a lot of dark. I wanted something light. And um, she kept picking up everything dark, dark, dark. And I was like, no, I want something a little bit lighter, especially in the frame and um, in the lens, I'm sorry. So if you see that lens, look, if you look through it, you can see my actual nail color. So that is a light lens um, frame. And again, it is the tortoiseshell frame. Um, it is the wider frame. And I will say, guys, these do, they fit really snug. So, but for me, I like that because, you know, I love that snug fit. I have a broader face, a rounder face, and having that snug fit to where they're not slipping, they're not moving up or down, um, that was very important to me. And then with this particular pair of lens, they were the oversized lens. And I wanted that whole look with a little bit of cat eye accent to it. So yeah, these were really, really um, very nice. Um, and I love the gold accents um, along the side of the uh, arm. That is really, really cool with the little Gucci uh, name there as well. So very, very nice. And I loved especially the wide frame on the bridge of the nose, on the bridge of the nose part. So if you can see that, that frame is, is pretty wide on the bridge of the nose, which was very important to me. Like I said, for overall fit, comfort, and um, durability. So it doesn't slip, but yeah, these are really cool. So um, like I said, I got these from Dillard's, got these up from Dillard's. And um, I was really shocked because they do come in this this beautiful velvet green casing and look inside there you have a Gucci logo and also it comes with um, where is it? it comes with of course the receipt and the um, envelope that came with it and also it has actually it has um, a cleaning cloth there as well and as well as a cleaning cloth, it comes with this, this nice little sleek little satin carrying case, dust bag, and that is gorgeous as well. So yeah, I love that beautiful little color on the inside, how it accents that, um, that green. It's just really, really gorgeous. Um, they did have several different color of cases to choose from. There were like probably maybe five or six different colors you could choose from. And for me, I don't know, this season, I am just really stuck on this green for this season. So that's what made me choose this particular 
um, case for my my eyewear. But yeah, very, very nice. I'm, I was really impressed um, and happy with the purchase. And I'm glad that the CA advised me. She's like, no, no, look, she said, I got the perfect pair, pair for you. You know, because she was showing me some pairs. And I was like, no, that doesn't fit my face. That just my frame. That doesn't go well or that's a little too out there for me or whatever. Then she was like, yeah. She said, okay, I got one, I got one. So, um, you know, she, she pointed these out to me. Um, I tried them on. I did like them. I did step away. And, um, but you know how we do sometimes we put things in places where it's like, okay, let me put it right here and then I'm gonna come back to it or whatever. Luckily, um, just so happened when I came back and I started looking for them, I was like, oh, they're gone. It's like, so you got them. They're gone. They're gone. No, I just lost my eyewear. But then I looked really hard and someone had found them and she probably did it because she was probably trying to sell them but um, they had uh, uh, got them from the place that I put them and then put them out front to where everybody could see them I was like uh-uh not this time I'm about to get these I did this pair of uh, um, eyewear so yeah very very nice I love that look at that very sleek very um, sophisticated and very studious I like that look very studious look and the main thing that I was going for again was that the lens was a clear I mean it was um, not a dark dark lens and something I'm just now noticing that I didn't notice before where is it at I see it I didn't notice before that there was the little Gucci name inside the lens at the top right corner of the lens it says Gucci I didn't notice that before geez that's pretty neat yeah it sure does it says Gucci right there you guys probably can't there you go now you can see it yeah isn't that cool yeah those are so neat but anyways guys again I'm just um sharing with you my shopping experience um, over the Christmas holiday. Um, I, like I said, um, I got a chance to get out and get a few things that I wanted and get everything that I wanted. Um, I wanted to get a pair of boots, but of course, you know, I have big feet. I wear like a size 11, couldn't really find my size. So I guess that's going to be um, coming a little bit later. But anyways, just to show you guys what these look like on. How about that? How sexy are these? Like, how studious are these? And I wore these already once, guys. And when I had them on, I had like my little beret on. Um, and I was dressed, I had my little beret on, had my overcoat on, I had my gloves with the finger out. And, um, and I was coordinated and it looked really nice. But yeah, these are, these are pretty cute. I think these are cute, let's see what they look like with the hair up yeah cute huh yeah these mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah these are pretty cute i like these yeah so i could i'm definitely happy with this purchase and again these are the gucci oversized tortoiseshell frames um, and they of course you know UV protected or whatever so yeah and they're very comfortable and like I said they fit snug they fit snug on my face I love the wide arm you know that, that was very important for me um, the wider arm means that I'm gonna have more of a comfortable fit behind the ear without all the slipperage but yeah these are these are really cute I like these and I like them more so for the the studious look I like that so yeah I think I like it when I wear my hair more so up than down hide that forehead a little bit cause your girl got a big noggin and um she ain't shame of it she love it <laughs>
But again, guys, if you're just joining me for the first time, um, my channel is not a credit, just a customer where I just simply do reviews on different products. I also um, do reviews um, while I'm out shopping, um, if I'm at a grocery store or a restaurant, um, all my experiences, um, I try to um, post them, post reviews, so people will know what to expect, you know. Um, and, and again, my experience may be a little bit totally different than yours, so, but I'm just giving you my review from my um, experience. But again, guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for stopping by. I hope everyone is having um, a wonderful holiday season. And um, I hope everybody's having a Merry Christmas. I hope everybody is feeling the joy that um, needs to be felt around the world um, this time, especially with everything that's going on. And, um, you know, 20... From 2020 now to 2022, it's been a pretty rough period for all of us. So just continue to keep each one, you know, in prayer. Check on your family members. Um, check on your your family, your friends. You know, everybody's going through. Um, I was talking to someone yesterday, and I, I was like, you know, it used to be a time where only one person was going through, and everyone could gather around that one person and try to help them through their situation or try to pray them through but now it's like we're at the point to where everybody is going through everybody is going through everybody is dealing with trying times and you know losses and you know depression and things like that and, and um, you know just walking around um, with a pasted on smile when you know you're dealing with a lot of stuff but um, I just pray that you know, everyone will make it through this tough period, and that um, I just pray for peace. Lord, we need some peace. We need peace. But yeah, but anyways, guys, um, I really didn't mean to go there with you all, but you know, it's just kind of how I'm feeling right about now. And um, again, I just wanted to check in with you guys and uh, share a little bit of my little cheer and joy with you all, and hopefully, it can change you know brighten your day a little bit um so but anyways thanks guys for stopping by again this is not a critic just a customer and i am Shar. so until the next video stay safe happy holidays merry christmas and we'll see you on the next video thank you